We are back with our second guest here on the show. We've got Sergeant TK Nowell and our volunteer Camille with the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, we are going to talk about the RAD program, Rape Aggression Systems program here at the um, Sheriff's Office. Tell us a little bit about this program. The Rape Aggression Defense System is a nationwide and international program. We are luckily um, fortunate to have brought that to the Brunswick County citizens in last year, July. Um, this program, like I said, is international. New Hanover County also offers it, but we offer it to our citizens for free. It's a basic self-defense which teaches women tactics that are very uh, viable options and things that they can use. They don't have to require guns and knives and stuff like that, but they have options of self-defense on their bodies that they can use at any time. And it gives them a lot of self-confidence too, doesn't it, uh, Sergeant Law? Yes, sir. It is. It teaches women that you know, regardless of their age, their size, anything, that they have options that they can use to defend themselves in a situation. And you mentioned age or size. Uh, we were talking before uh, we were uh, started the show. Uh, any age, pretty much, uh, you can take. You mentioned you had as young as 12. 12, yep. We have a lot of mother-daughter combinations that come in, um, as long as they have a parental consent form signed. So we've had taught people 12, 13 years old up to, I've got an 89-year-old in my class right now. So it's really what they're able to do, and we don't make people do. They can sit back and watch if they want to, and so it's, it's available. It doesn't really matter. And if someone wanted to do um, the RAD program, tell us how they, how they do it, how they sign up. Um, tell us a little bit of the details on that. Okay. You can go to www.brunswicksheriff.com, and over on the public entrance tab, public interest. Scroll down and it says RAD Self-Defense and you fill out the application, it comes straight to me. I send out an email to say, hey, I'm having a, a class here at this location this time. If you're available to come, then just shoot me an email and say I'll be there. And it's my understanding that location is kept secret. Mm -hmm. So if some of these folks are maybe uh, needing protection from some type of domestic situation, Correct. this... Correct. There is no way anybody can find out where they're at and what they're learning. Yes, if the if there's a domestic violence situation, I prefer them to call me direct instead of putting their email in so that it doesn't get obtained by the person that they're trying to defend against. Right. So, but yes, uh, we have at different locations. We go out to the communities. It's not just at one location. We can come to them. Okay. And you were telling us also that if they if there's like a community, say Ocean Ridge or Sandpiper Bay mm -hmm. or or Lockwood Folly, one of these locations that maybe a group of women want to get together mm -hmm. and learn together that are all in one community, they can do that. And I understand, right. Camille, uh, that that's how you got involved in the program, correct? That's exactly how I got involved. I was in the Citizens Academy, and TK talked about RAD, and I was immediately intrigued by it. I went back to my community, spoke to my neighbors, and they were intrigued by it. So I contacted TK and she made the arrangements. And there were about 11 of us that took the program and it, it was amazing. A lot of communities don't have a facility, but that's where I can step in and look for places to have it for free. Sergeant um, TK, tell us, after women take this course, um, what can they gain from the program? They're going to gain a world of confidence knowing that they actually have the power and ability to defend themselves in a situation is priceless and that's another reason why we offer this, this class for free so um, as a woman and a mother i took more from this class than any law enforcement training that i've had i use this day to day going to the grocery store getting stuff out of the car um, just out and about in general that my awareness is has heightened and my, my sense of security as well wow Awesome. Um, and Camille, what did you take from the course after you took it? Well, there were two things that hit me immediately. And one was we live in a world where we cannot take for granted that we are safe, that there are people out there that mean to do harm. And the second thing I learned through the simulation was that when you have someone approach you, my mind went into this automatic place. And I needed that coaching to come back to the moment so that I could think and react rather than panic. And I thought those were two great take homes for me as a woman, as a mother when I'm out with my family, and as a grandmother if I'm out and I need to protect my grandchildren. And what she said about simulation, this class is 12 hours long. Um, we break it down in like three, 
three-hour sessions, four nights. And at the end, the last night is an optional simulation. So they actually wear padded gear and we have aggressors and we take them through scenarios where they actually have to use these techniques that we mm -hmm. have taught them. And just for them to see that on video right. afterwards, like, man, I actually did that. Yeah, it's just, that. they are so empowered. Wow. Okay. Camille, tell us a little bit about what you do as a volunteer here at the Sheriff's Office. Well, I volunteer in a number of different capacities. Um, one is at the Citizens Academy, and I'm there really to assist Sergeant T.K. Nowell, First Sergeant Burt Reeves, and Lieutenant Clint Simpson. And I come on Tuesday evenings, and if there's papers to be passed out, if there are food to be laid out, anything that will make that program run smoothly and allow the staff to do what they need to do. Um, I also have the opportunity to volunteer at the courthouse, which is a very interesting uh, program as well. I'm at the uh, metal detector with another deputy, and I've learned a lot about metal detectors. I'm no longer frustrated when I go to the <laughs> airport because I totally <laughs> understand. And I also do the voice patrol, which is an opportunity to ride with a partner in low crime areas and see the neighbors, see the neighborhood, ride around schools and report anything that may be amiss. What a great opportunity. Thank it's you for wonderful. sharing all of that. Tell us one more time, TK, um, the contact information if someone is interested in the RAD program. Sure. You can contact me at 253-2708. You can also call 253-2777, uh, which is our main office here. And then you can go on our website, which is www.brunswicksheriff.com. Go to public interest and select RAD self-defense. So it's pretty simple to, okay. in, to get a call to me. And a really great program. Yes. It is. Well, thank you both for being here and My sharing pleasure. all that information. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back.